Stop! Settings in Project Bloodstrike can get confusing. Like have a look at how many settings there are. So in this video I'll show you the best settings to use in Project Bloodstrike. Our first setting is the FOV. You can find the setting on the graphics and audios tab of the settings menu. FOV means field of view. Basically the higher it is the more you can see. So you should keep it as high as you can write. Well the answer is no. Yes, having a high FOV can help you see more on your screen. But your aim is gonna be absolute garbage. Let me show you the difference between the higher and lower FOV. Now see what happens when I switch to high FOV. The target becomes much smaller. This has a bad effect on your aiming. So maximum FOV is not always good unless you have a big screen. In my experience FOV 75 is the best you can use. The second setting is always sprint. This setting prevents a common problem. What problem? I will tell you now. I'm sure at some point of you playing Project Bloodstrike you meant to slide but you actually crouched. Bruh. You can find this setting in the gameplay tab and the move section. By turning on always sprint setting, you will no longer have this issue and you can slide easily. Alright, let's move on to the next setting. The next setting is called Sensitivity Acceleration Mode. By default, the Sensitivity Acceleration Mode is set to increase your sensitivity when you move your finger. Faster or more distance, in this mode, it is possible that when you need to react quickly to an enemy, your screen may move more than necessary. They call it Distance Boost. This will prevent you from aiming accurately. You can change this setting in the sensitivity section under the slide tab and set it to fix speed. And the next setting is called Hit Feedback. This setting is located in the gameplay section under the battle info tab. By changing this option from the D feedback to 3D feedback, you can easily locate the enemy's position when you're being hit by enemy bullets but don't know where the enemy is. In 3D feedback mode, you can determine the vertical position from which the enemy is shooting at you and have quicker reflexes. This setting can be crucial because even if you use headphones, you may not be able to accurately determine the enemy's altitude. Finally, if you are interested in this kind of content, go ahead and like the video and subscribe the channel. Don't forget, don't stop.